Welcome to this video tutorial in which we're going to show you how the VR gallery works. Uh, in fact, you have two scenes. When you go to the VR gallery concept, you have the first scene is gallery one and then gallery two. So the first gallery looks like this. You have a menu here that is formed by three different images. And whenever you click on one of them, the panel here is going to change uh, into the image that you have selected. Then you have a uh, idea, idea of a menu at your right side that is not going to trigger the function that they say, but instead of that, we have actions that are prepared for you to build. Okay, I will explain that in a minute. We are going to um, open the Gallery One Manager while I, I hit play and show you how how things work. Okay. So let's wait for it. Then um, all the buttons work with a loading bar. Okay. So uh, whenever you are next to a button or you focus on a button, the loading bar will appear. So you have here the image that is in, in that panel. Then you have this menu here that whenever you click one of the images, is going to plot them into the panel and then you have the menu system which allows you to move and check all the images that they are in the in the gallery okay so you can see all of that how it works and you can go to the previous images if, we, if you want to okay as I said before the the buttons here are not working, but we have added the functions in the debug. So for, for example, I, hit, I have hit draw. If we go now to the debug, you see that we have the draw call, as well as the uh, preparing to click on record, record call, that is the first one I have done. And then we have the draw call, okay? So that's pretty much it regarding the, fun the functionality. Then if we go to the to the gallery manager one, okay, I'm just going to explain to you how the update menu gallery works. So what we are doing is we are checking, okay, as you can see here, the gallery menu le length in order to um, obtain the, ma the material and set that material to the image where the menu first image is the index of the first of this first image here okay so this menu first image is updated whenever we are pressing the uh, arrows up and down okay so that is done in go image from menu gallery now next gallery so you can see here we are saying the menu first is plus one and the menu first is my minus one. So using that part of the script, the next and the previous gallery are able to move the images here in this menu. And then by clicking on them, we are able to show them in the panel. So you can see update main view here, which is going to be where the panel render material is going to be updated using the current image. The current image is the one that is selected and is the one in the panel okay so that's all regarding the first scene let's go to the second scene the second scene when you open it you only have um, this um, button here that is to go back to the same one <coughs> sorry but whenever you hit play sorry <coughs> whenever you hit play the um, the gallery will be generated as you can see here so uh, now we are generating a gallery that is uh, that has uh, three row, uh, three columns and um, n rows because it will depend on the number of pictures we have and if we, you go to the gallery scene 2 to the gallery script and you want to add more, more columns you can put a 4 here for example and then hit, hit play And in this case, the gallery will have four columns, as you can see now. 
and the images will be arranged in the in the matrix. So um, to change the row distance and the call distance, you have these two variables here. And then I didn't say it before, but for selecting the images, you go to the gallery manager one or two, and in the images you can set the array of images. The all of them are in textures. Example, example um, images, I think. Example images, yes, and you have it there uh, ordered, and you have to pick and drag them. Okay, so if you want to add another one, or if you want just to save one ten images, okay, you you set the size to ten, and you you will have no problem. And then. You will see we have 10 images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then you have this cool movement of the camera that is focusing on the different images that is called um, the camera movement that it's inside the carbon main here and uses a ray cast. Uh, notice that the gallery, okay, it's a container for all the images and each of the image has um, a tag that is called image. So the ray cast is going to check if we are inside of that um, place or that part of the of the space, and it's going to move the the carbon main and the camera uh, towards that point. So that's how it's working. And I think that's pretty much it, it regarding this information. And then we're going to show. Um, the gallery manager too, how, how things work there. So we have a start function in which what we're going to do is generate all the instances, as you can see, of the image prefab, which uh, contains uh, an image in gallery script. And notice that we have to update the number. So this number that is set to the new image gallery, and I hit play, you will see. It better. Um, it's the information we take from the image in order to plot it into the into the uh, panel. Okay, so whenever I I'm on an, an image, okay, I'm loading the image as you can see here. I'm loading the image one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. This one. So you will see <clears throat> that in the image in gallery script you have the index image four. So that means that is going to go and open this one in, in the panel. Okay, let's see if it works. So it gets that and then opens the image in the panel. So to do that, what we're calling is this update picture in which you see the panel render material main texture is set to the current image that is selected. And then we are setting active the panel and we are hiding the gallery. So to hide the gallery, we use a loop here. And to do the opposite thing, that is clicking the button return, what we do is we set false uh, the activation of the panel, and then we set active to the gallery. And that's all regarding this package. Thanks for watching. I hope you consider downloading our package. Uh, we are students passionate by VR that we want to share our ideas with the world. So thanks for downloading this package and supporting our job. And I'm going to put you the last cool image I like a lot. That is of this camera it's here. That reminds me to the VR. So have a nice day.